Hello and welcome to another Ask Cheeky. I'm Isaiah Henkel, a Cheeky Scientist. Watch today's entire video because I'm gonna show you, I'm actually gonna show you a print off that proves that universities don't care about postdocs. Okay, it's, it's one use case, but I'm gonna talk about it in a, in a series of use cases that have come into us, uh, that people have shared with us, and what universities are doing uh, to try to hide the fact that things are very bad for postdocs in academia right now, and postdocs are being used uh, as cheap labor because there's a lot of data being published, including in Nature, that shows that doing a postdoc actually damages your career. So this question came to us originally by Sarah Hirth, and Sarah said, should I do a postdoc, and if so, for how long? The answer is now that we've seen the data that I'm gonna show you, the answer is now that you should not do a postdoc. Whether you wanna be in academia, nonprofit, government, or industry, doing a postdoc actually damages your career. By doing a postdoc, you will never catch up in terms of career trajectory or salary trajectory to people who do not do a postdoc, to PhDs who don't do a postdoc, okay? I'm gonna show you that figure a little bit later. First, I wanna tell you my story. When I was evaluating whether or not to do a postdoc, I saw how hard the postdocs in my lab worked, and they were working 18 hour plus days. And I asked them how much they made, and most of them would tell me, plus it was uh, uh, open information that you could look up online, and they were making about $32,000, $33,000. Okay, the national average is only about 40,000 to 45,000 currently, that's in the US, Canada, et cetera, which is half to a third of what the average is for PhDs to make in those same countries in industry. Okay, so the salary is a lot less. Now here's what you probably don't know. About 30 years ago, you didn't even need to do a postdoc to get into a professorship. Now they tell you you have to do one. They tell you even if you don't get into a professorship, doing a postdoc will help your career. I'm gonna show you data in a minute that disproves that, that proves that doing a postdoc damages your, your career no matter what your career choice is, okay? Also, take a look around at your current university. You've probably seen this trend. First, the numbers show that the average amount of time a person spends doing a postdoc before getting into a assistant or associate professorship is up to six to 10 years now, usually over the course of two to three different postdocs. In fact, it's starting to look so bad for universities that they're changing the titles of postdocs, people who have been in postdocs for three or more years, to staff scientist, right, or TA, or some other position title. Just a change in title, no increase in salary, no extra direction in terms of getting into a professorship. Now, the use cases that we have brought to us in our association, we have over 7,000 PhDs in our association, uh, which is dedicated to getting PhDs into industry. And what the use cases show is that uh, come, uh, universities don't even care about postdocs. They treat them as cheap labor, okay? You probably have worse benefits as a postdoc um, than you did as a graduate student. You have usually worth, worse health care um, for the countries where health care is not, not free, and, and you likely have no retirement planning whatsoever, no benefits whatsoever. So I want to read you this. This is from a this is from Glassdoor where there was uh, there's reviews for different universities, uh, reviews for how well postdocs are treated, how well graduate students are treated. This is one of the top universities in the country. I'm not going to tell you the university name. Um, you can look it up for yourself on Glassdoor. Uh, the title is probably showing up backwards here, but the title is "Not Enough Protection for Postdoc Scholars." Okay, and it talks about the pros and cons, and then it has the university's response from an actual uh, employee communications director at the university, which is gonna blow you away when I, read their, when I read you their response. This is how little um, academic institutions care about their postdocs, okay? People treat postdocs like they're indentured servants, like they just need to work and be quiet, don't complain, just take whatever abuse that you get. You have no rights, no human rights whatsoever, no professional rights. Uh, you basically just have to deal with it. Want proof? Listen to this. Okay, so again, it's on Glassdoor. The title is Not Enough Protection for Postdoctoral Scholars. The person writes in and says, I have been working for XYZ University full-time for about a year. There are a ton of resources to help you and a ton of classes and training available. Those are the pros, okay, so it's fair. Um, the cons, competitive nature of the environment uh, promotes sociopathic, abusive, and exploitative uh, behavior by some faculty. Okay, definitely not every faculty is like this, only a select few, but I am unlucky enough to be with one of these abusive faculty members. While administrative is sympathetic, there is very little real protection for abused postdocs and very little or no consequences for abusive faculty. Very fair, this probably doesn't sound that unusual. Okay, even big media is starting to post stories about postdocs and graduate students being abused by such faculty. 
The advice to management, there must be more controls, accountability for faculty, especially powerful tenured faculty, so that they do not easily get away with abuse. Very fair, I think we could all agree to that. This is the university's response, are you ready? One sentence, very short, actually only six words. Postdoctoral scholars are not considered employees. That's the university's response from an actual university employ, uh, employed member, okay? Postdocs are treated as less than human, okay? Universities don't care about you as a postdoc. They just don't, right? They'll want to make a show of it or they'll want to hide it, right? They'll want to hide the fact that you've been in a postdoc for many years, right, by calling you a staff scientist or a researcher or a research associate or a TA, whatever it is. They won't increase your pay, though. They won't give you any benefits because the system just can't support it. Right? You are holding up a select few full-time professorships. Um, full-time professorships are going extinct. The people that are in those positions now are holding on for dear life, and they know that it relies on you and other graduate students and more and more postdocs propping them up so they can stay in those positions. The university knows that too. Okay, Without you, the university at the graduate level can't exist. You are the cheap labor that they need. That's why they treat you like indentured servants so that they can keep you beat down so you stay there working. Okay? There's no future for you. The last figure I want to show you, I wasn't going to show you this, but I'm going to show you it very quickly. I've been talking a lot about this. This is from Nature Biotechnology. This is published in Nature. The dashed line is your career trajectory and your salary trajectory if you do a postdoc. It's beneath this other line, the solid line, which is if you don't do a postdoc. Right? So look at this. This is the full sample, whether it's academia, industry, or government. People who do a postdoc never catch up in salary or career trajectory to those who do not do a postdoc. Even in academia, if you take statistical significance into account and look at the full sample, it takes 15 years just to catch up. Again, that's only if you take statistical significance, and you never surpass it. If you're doing a postdoc right now, it is damaging your career. Don't obsess about the mistake that it, you might have made by doing a postdoc. Just get out of it. Realize you're being used as cheap labor. If you're a graduate student, don't do a postdoc. Even if you want to get a high-level academic position, doing a postdoc is not going to get you there anymore. Full-time professorships, by the time that you're ready to be a professor, they're not even going to be there anymore. They're being replaced by assistant professorships, adjunct professorships, contract professorships. Okay, the data doesn't lie. That's from nature. Look up these references yourself. You're a PhD. You can find them. Open your eyes. Okay, you have to realize what's going on. We want to see you get into careers where you can do meaningful work and be paid well for it, be treated well by people who actually care. Okay, if you want to learn more about this, if you want to get the full data, if you want to be unlike the majority of PhDs and actually open your eyes, look at your career strategically, not just go back to what you're comfortable doing in the lab or in the classroom. If you want to open your eyes and know what's going on, go to phdsgethired.com, put in your name and email address, we'll send you all of our materials including these statistics, as well as our ebooks on how to write an industry resume, how to set up informational interviews. We'll send you our ebook about the top 20 industry positions for PhDs as well. Okay? Until next time, remember your value as a PhD and start thinking and acting like a successful industry professional.